Ladies and gentlemen, come here. I'll come out if you promise not to lie. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'd like to do something that you don't otherwise see from me. No, it's not a new joke. <laughs> tonight you're looking at Jimmy Cricket, ballet dancer. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Cricket isn't a very good name for a ballet dancer, so tonight I'll be performing under my ballet dancer's name, Ivor Pullover. <laughs> and I'd like to dance a scene from the famous ballet, the Enchanted Fish Cake. <laughs> it's all about a simple woodcutter. And he is simple. He uses a rubber axe. <laughs> and the scene takes place in Moscow, which is near Russia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Enchanted Forest, and this is the castle. This is the tree here. I'll just move the tree if you can't see me. <laughs> and when I come on, I will be the woodcutter chopping down the tree. Right. One, two. That's all I need. Two legs. Right. His heart pounds like a ferret in a bowler hat. She's got beautiful brown eyes like two tins of treacle with the lids open. And now, do the maiden coming in. That's all I need. This is a 1 1. I couldn't afford a 2 2. This was given to me by my granddad before they took him away. Thank you. <laughs> the woodcutter sees her. He goes towards her. He tells her of his great love. She said, I'm pledged to another. He said, what's the matter with two tins of shoe polish? <laughs> He grabs her in his arms. She said, be gone, you blackguard. He's cut to the quick. Nobody's ever called him a be gone before. And full of depression and morose and cheese and onion crisps. He goes into the death leap. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most dangerous feat in ballet. The death leap. Close your eyes. <laughs> the death leap. about the time I was in the opera. Get out! Oh, no. I've had enough of this. Stop moaning. This is too much for one man. Just get on with the job. You're taking advantage of me because I failed to win a gold medal at the Winter Olympics for having the biggest chill blends. You asked for the job as a hot carrier. I never thought it was going to be like this. <laughs> Nice morning. We haven't got any vacancies for weather forecasters. I was just trying... What sort of work are you looking for? Anything. I'm not too proud to admit I'm desperate for employment. Dire straits. I'll go anywhere. Have you any jobs for a, a young man, hardworking, presentable, pleasing personality, and reliable? What's this chap's name? That was a civil servant job sent a joke. Oh. Oh, 
previous occupation? I was a magician. Magician. How long were you... <laughs> Hello? Hello? I say? I didn't quite catch your last question. Uh, no. Uh, yes. How long were you a magician? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. <laughs> Get down off my desk! <laughs> Thank you. Why can't you get work on the stage now? Audiences got fed up with the same old tricks. Same old tricks? Yes. <laughs> they got fed up with the sawing the lady in half trick. Will you stop this at once? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, just you listen to me. This is a job centre, not some place where you can perform your idiotic tricks. I am a very busy man. I have other people to see, so I'd appreciate it if you just left. But, sir... I've had enough. Just go, you moron. You shouldn't have said that, sir. I have a wife, six children, a white rabbit, and a top hat to support. <laughs> go away. Go away. Very well. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm not too proud to admit to being desperate for employment. All the jobs have gone. Disappeared. <laughs> Next! Mommy, it's Jimmy. What? You're knitting the pullover. You're in a hurry. You want to finish it before you run out of wool. <laughs> Listen. Oh, Dad's just left. He's gone looking for a job. Yeah, he's in his best suit and a blindfold. <laughs> what, Mommy? He said it's somebody's birthday in the job centre because the window's full of cards. <laughs> oh. Did he take that door-to-door -door salesman's job? You told him not to take it. Everybody you know already has a door. <laughs> oh. Yeah, old Mrs. Collins, it was her birthday. You made her a birthday cake. Oh, that's great, Mummy. It's not great. The heat of the oven melted the candles. <laughs> oh. Well, how old was she? Ninety-three. She died blowing the candles out. <laughs> oh, you had a great party. My old schoolmaster was there. Oh, there was tears in his eyes. Oh, that's great, Ma He's seen me on television as well. <laughs> what, Mommy? He remembers the time I painted all the windows in the bedroom black. Dad slept in for four days. <laughs> was he? Uncle John was there. You're worried about him. Why, Mommy? He's smoking 30 cigarettes a day. You told him you read in a magazine that nicotine kills mice. Oh. He said he's going to put the cigarettes in the top shelf so the mice can't get at them. <laughs> oh. Okay, bye, Mommy. Bye. Can I help you, sir? Why, is there something wrong with me? I meant, can I help you find a record? Yes. Have you got raindrops keep falling on my head? Mm, I think we have, sir. Oh. That wasn't what I meant. Oh. Perhaps there's another record that Sir might prefer. Yes. Title? More. <laughs> I meant the song called More. Oh, that one. I'm sure there must be other records that Sir's fond of. Sir's fond of hundreds of records. Sir's fond of thousands of records. But Sir's getting to the stage where Sir is frightened to ask. I don't see why. Yeah, but you're not standing on this side of the counter. Isn't there some other record that you're fond of? Yes. <laughs> Old Man River. Oh. I'm afraid we haven't got that one in, sir. 
I can't say that I'm sorry. But it should be in any time now. <sighs> it's arrived. Yes. Jeez. Can I help you, madam? I hope so. Have you got a recording of April showers? Certainly, madam. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, there's something not quite right here. I don't quite follow you, sir. Well, here am I soaked to the skin. She waltzes in, and not a drop when she asks for April showers. <laughs> I'll be off now. I'm going to sell my record player. Oh, we purchase second-hand record players. Oh, can you collect this afternoon? Certainly. The address? At 25 Water Street. Oh, no! <laughs> you can't leave me, not after all these years. I'm leaving. Oh, please. I told you I've had enough. I'm leaving. Oh, I'll help you pack the shirt. <laughs> shirt? Underwear. Underwear. Pajamas. Pajamas. Socks. Socks. Jumper. Jumper. Hand grenade. Hand, hand grenade! <laughs> 